Hey guys! So, last few weeks I've been thinking a lot about back when I was younger and how I used to read all kinds of different books and all kinds of weird funny stuff. And one of the books I read was a book called Captain Underpants, right here. See it? This is a book and it's about some old, fat, bald guy that runs around saving people in his underwear. Frankly, I'm surprised that certain parts of the book were not R-rated for he was naked. Uh, they didn't show it exactly, but they definitely showed about him in a barrel. Weird. Much. But yeah, very, very awkward. Uh, frankly, I'm surprised he was not arrested or thrown in prison for it. But uh, the funny thing was he fight different kinds of monsters, like... Uh, giant boogers and aliens and he also drank orange juice which gave him his superpowers which is kind of weird and awkward in, in a sense um and he also fought toilets which makes me think of the times when they sabotaged toilets the kids in the book would sabotage the toilets with different pranks and things and so that got me thinking i'm gonna do a video on how to sabotage toilets all right you toilet you are going down 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 Eat lead toilet! So, one of the first things we're going to do to sabotage a toilet and totally prank it, things you can do in public, is you're going to need saran wrap. Any kind of plastic wrap like this will do as long as it is clear and see-through. First, you're going to take the saran wrap, and then you're going to take it and you're going to put it over the bottom lid of the toilet. Where you lift up the lid, make a circle, put it on there. Make sure that it blends in with the toilet, so that way nobody sits on it, you know, it just, it looks natural, okay? You get my drift here. You sit it on there. They sit down, they do whatever business they do. Frankly, I don't care which one it is. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm sure you guys don't want to know, but I'm sure that they have their own little business. You can do this in public or you can do this at home. Frankly, I would not do that at home because then if your family is there, they will probably have a fit and they will probably do whatever they possibly could to make your life miserable. But anyways, so you play that on there. You stretch it out across the toilet seat and put the lid down. Now you see a little barrier there in between the toilet bowl and the top of the seat thingy. Whatever you call it. Which I don't know. So, you put it on there. They sit down. They do their business. And it doesn't go in the toilet. It gets caught on the plastic wrap. So when they stand up or while they're sitting down, something doesn't seem to be right. And you guys can see where I'm going with this. And this is one of the pranks that you can do with plastic wrap. Prank number two with the toilets. They're called Squishies, my personal favorites of the Captain Underpants book series. For this, you're going to need condiment packages. You know those little bumpy things on the bottom of the toilet, seat, toilet seats that you find? Well. What you do is you take these condiment packages. They can be any kind of condiments. Mustard, uh, grape juice, or jelly or whatever, anything. You fold that in half. Put it under the bumps of the toilet. You guys can find those. I'm not going to show you. It's a toilet for crying out loud. So, you put, fold those under there. Make sure the ends are facing this way. Facing outwards towards the bumps. So, like you have here, you have your bumps, top of the toilet seat like this. So, you have that. Make sure that they're facing the wall. So, when they sit down on the toilet, all that pressure of all that weight of that person sitting down will make these little packages explode over the back of their legs. Sending ketchup and mustard flying in all directions, spraying their legs. And you know what that is called. That, my friends, is called a squishy. It's squishy, it's nasty, and it just feels just downright wrong as it runs down your pant legs. Or, if you're wearing shorts, your bare legs. Hopefully they have been shaved. If you're a guy, um, it's going to be very awkward feeling that run past your, down your leg hairs and just, ugh, 
makes it creepy and disgusting at the same time. But it's also very hilarious. I highly suggest you guys trying this if you want to try a prank on one of your friends. However, I do not suggest trying this at home. That it's best to stay anonymous during this so no one gets pinpointed. Of course, I would still be careful because you don't want to get sued and you don't want to have legal issues, as I might say. Of course, you know, it's all fun and games in the end, of course. But if you're like having like a roommate and they're cool with it and it's just like, you know, pranking each other, whatever. You guys get the point. But that's the point. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to push the like button at the bottom and subscribe to my channel, my wonderful channel. And also, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, you guys can check out my Facebook fan page. I have the link in the description on my channel. On my channel somewhere over here. Now I'll post it. In, down here in the description. Also, follow me on Twitter, and you can also check out my Instagram. Just look for the picture, that's my profile picture on YouTube here. You'll find that on my Instagram pictures. Look for that. Let me know that you guys are found me from YouTube, and you guys can follow me and check out all the weird, awesome pictures. Adios.